These are my tomato plants for 2018. I'm going to show you how and why I got to this point. Hi, I'm Ron with Pacific Permaculture. I'm going to show you how I up pot my tomatoes into these half barrels. Check it out. Okay, so this one came with some holes in it, but you can see they're pretty small. I like the holes bigger than this, so what I have here is a flat blade three-quarter inch drill bit in my drill motor so that's how I'm going to drill these out with. Okay so as you can see I have all these drilled out usually I don't drill that many holes being they're bigger but kind of an experiment I usually only put three or four being there were already holes you know, I drilled them out the size I want. So this one I'm just going to do the regular way and we'll see if there's any massive difference this year when I do these I'm just going to put maybe three or four. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to cut the top of this open. Okay, so what I did here is I just cut open the top of this bag for simplicity's sake. So, I'm gonna it. so this is our final product, finished product. See the night? It may be hard to see in the light. I got this for a trellis. This is called the welded wire fence. It came in, I believe, a hundred foot roll at one of the big box stores about 10 years ago. Still very solid metal. It's not going any place. Can be reused over and over. So you can see these are about, I don't know if they're four inch, I think they're four inch squares. And uh, maybe that's a six. Anyway, six inch squares. And then what I did is I put this bird netting. And the bird netting is specifically because what I've been told is that women get some kind of illness from cats using the uh, pot as a litter box so if I want to share my tomatoes I want to keep try to keep the cats out so that's why the bird netting is around the base and together with that and the six inch mesh it really protects a plant from whatever marauding children pets I don't know maybe raccoon so Anyway, so I have the bird netting. I have to tie this on with some kind of zip ties or something. But you can see with a with a welded wire fence, I just bent the ends over to make it hold together right there. And uh, this is how I like to do things if I don't have soil I can trust. And where I'm living, there's not a lot of soil and it's an old house. So that's the thing. There's probably lead paint issues in the soil. Now, when you have a place that you're not sure of the soil and you want to plant and maybe you can't build the raised bed. Now, the half barrels aren't free. They do cost a little bit of money, but it's an easy solution sometimes that you can do and you can grow food in your yard. Now, economical, probably not. But where it's valuable is that you have a homegrown product. I know what's been applied to this. I know there's been nothing been sprayed on it. It hasn't accidentally been labeled organic by some big box store. It's organic. I don't put pesticides or anything on it. So peace of mind, homegrown value. It can be mature on the plant, whereas in the store you never get the right fully mature fruit, I'll call it, or vegetables because they have to be shipped. So how much nutritional value are you going to get out of that? I say, you know, sure it's a little costly, but I get better nutritional value and I'm showing how people can grow these in their yard even if they've only got pavement. They can use these half barrels and do something like this. Anyway, thanks for watching. I appreciate it if you like, subscribe, and share. Ciao.